Eifto. Blond, 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 blond. Eifto. And two things, what did you make of Tony Belli's last performance where he obviously fought in a very different way to what we've seen yeah. in the past? And then secondly, are you, are you, obviously we know about your temperament and your ability and your skills. Um, the second part of this question is, is, is you're still a work in progress in some ways, even though you're world champion. Yeah. How much further have you got to go in your own ability and in your own learning and experience? Um, first, I think, you know, the last fight was was uh, a little step up for for Tony um, in terms of his performance. You know, he showed a little, he showed discipline. Um, he came through the fight, and he, you know, he did win quite comfortably. So it was, you can't really take anything away from his performance. You know, he, he done well. Um, you know, but whether it's, it was enough to 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 grant him a world title fight, you know, I'm not so sure, but. That's the way it is. That's the fight we want, um, and it's going ahead. So, you know. but in terms of um, my progress and, and whether there's more to come, I definitely think so. Um, I'm 24 now, and every time I step into the gym after each fight, I'm feeling stronger, um, just feeling more mature. And um, yeah, I, I definitely think if I was Speaking truthfully, I think you know I'm, I'm about four four years away from my peak yet, so I'm I'm really proud of my achievements, what I've what I've already got, and I think there's definitely a lot more to come. Will you be sparring with George Rose at all now? He's part of the stable as well. Yeah, well he's uh, signed up now under under Frank Warren, so that's that's a a, a great move for him. Um, and obviously he's a he's a good orthodox fighter. So yeah, why not? You know, it'd, it'd be good to uh, yeah. to get uh, good preparation with him. Thank you. Nathan, how do you, um, you've shown capacity in recent fights for getting a tear up every fight, yeah. going through the to get plenty of that be probably looking out the most foolish thing you can do. How can you stop yourself from being <laughs> feeling in the fight? I'm not going to stop. No way. No way. That's that's the way. Um, I, I just love fighting like that. I love getting into tear-ups, um, and I know <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite an exciting style at times. Uh, and I know a lot of people enjoy watching me fight. I do take risks. I, I take a lot of risks, um, and especially when up against dangerous punchers, which apparently Tony is. But you know, I'm, we'll soon find out about that. But uh, I'm unsure about that. But yeah, I'm, I'm still I'm still prepared to take risks. Um, but at the same time, it's important that I, I got a plan B, which is to, to use my boxing skills. And whenever called upon in the fight, I'll always uh, change my plan. Um, but either way, you know, it, it's, I'll adapt to what's needed to win the fight. That's that's the most important thing. A uh, plan A and plan B. You. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting, you know that, that always makes the fight interesting. Someone, someone's got to lose for the first time in their life. Uh, I, I'm not used to that feeling, and obviously, Tony has not uh, experienced that yet. So, he's got to, uh, someone's record has got to be, uh, has got to be ruined in, in the next fight. So, you know, I had the same case with with Karo Murat two fights ago for the world title eliminator. He was undefeated in 23 fights. But you know, I'm, I love that. You know, I, I, I quite I thrive on the the challenge of that. And I think that uh, yeah. you know Tony Bell is going to suffer his first defeat. I think he's talked himself into trouble. And I think he's going to regret it afterwards, definitely. How did he lose as an amateur? Um, I had only had 36, 36 fights as an amateur, and I lost uh, three. Um, in Back Italy. when I was six, in sixteen. In Italy, one year. Yeah. Sixteen years of age in Italy, in a tournament in Italy. So that was my my last loss. Do you remember who it was? Um, no, no, I can't remember. You going to be sparring to it? Um, no, I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> it's obviously a bit of a needle there now. Um, so no, nah, we. I don't need that. I don't need him. So that could be another
Yeah, if he earns himself a mandatory position, why not? You know, I'd be uh, to uh, get him out of the way as well. But you know, I'd, he left to earn his shot first. What What does the prospect of fighting Bernard Hopkins in Wales mean to you? Yeah, that's special um, because as as I was growing up, you know, I always always saw Bernard Hopkins. Um, you know, he was on t TV and everybody talked about him as this major American boxer. Um, you know, he, he was a real class act. And to be in a position now to to know that I'm possibly one fight away from from sharing a ring with a legend like Hopkins, um, you know, that's that would be awesome. And it, you know, it's only around the corner, provided I put on a good show now on October 15th. Then. You know that that's the kind of fight we we are looking at, and I, I want I definitely it's it's a fight that I would fancy. Um, you know he's he's an outstanding standing fight. He's proved that an absolute legend. Um, but I think it's it's definitely a fight that that's winnable. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it, the, I saw him on fight night, obviously from from ringside, because um, I'd fought earlier in the night, and later on I relaxed and watched the fight at ringside, and you know, it, you could see he was class, but you know, we're all human, and he's just another another fighter. Um, but I think he struggles against a certain style, and obviously Joe beat him that night. Um, with with his style, and there's not many other light heavyweights in the world can can replicate that kind of style, fitness and speed, apart from myself. So I think it's a fight that he would really struggle against me um, because he wouldn't have come across a light heavyweight who can who can so that number of punches over 12 rounds, and um, you know which which I can. So. No, no, not really. I, th I thought he would have been uh, probably retired by then, but he's 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 still going. He's such a, you know such a strong character, um, unbelievable really, and he, he seems to be getting better. In all fairness, every every performance I've seen of him recently, he seems to be better and better. So uh, you know, he's a he's just a, a genius at what he does. Did you think Joe had pretty much seen him off that night? You think that was you know, um, after Joe beat him, it was possibly the end for him considering his age? Yeah, yeah, possibly so. I thought, you know. Well, he nearly stopped him, didn't he? If that referee, and you think about the fight, the referee only about the eighth round or ninth round, <coughs> he kept complaining, complaining about a low blow that wasn't. And the referee stopped Joe, and I think at that time I th he was looking a bit shaky. But he'd come back, and uh, you know, what he is is a phenomenal athlete. That's what he is. Yeah. He's uh, the boxing board of control. Uh, I think want to see him and uh, to make sure that he, if they do let him carry on boxing, that, um, he's okay. So that that take that that be the uh, um, the procedure now. Not really. I think it's, it's just a fight that uh, you know it's, it's not really planned that way. Um, I am planned to to emulate um, of, of what Joe has, has, has um, started really, but it's just a matter of of taking the best fight out there at the moment for myself, and which would be a great fight for the Millennium Stadium in Wales, um, which would be a a great sell, uh, bringing a legend over from America, and just having a you know a brilliant boxing event. That's that's the way I look at it, um, and I think it's, it'd be a great fight. You know, 
Hopkins being the legend and myself being the the young uh, world champion coming through. So I just think it's a, it'd be a, a great match. It would be interesting. Um, this, it'd, be a, it'd be a good fight. When do you envisage it for Frank? If Pooh's going to do that, we'll do it uh, early in the new year. Like before the six, yeah. before the stadium juice. Yeah, the exactly. Yeah. But the the other thing is, is that um, you know, people talk about emulating Joe. If you look at the age and the records, mm. Nathan's in front of Joe. You know, he's won a world title at the age of 24. I think Joe. How old was Joe when he won his title? 25, anyway. 25, 20, yeah. was he? Right. Oh, he's, he's in front anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah, well, of course he's got a long way to go. You know, he had a, he had a long run, but yeah, fight more regularly. Yeah, fight more regularly than Joe did. So you know, if, if Nathan keeps winning, you're talking about you know four defences a year. If, he's, if he can keep going, then he could he could do that much quicker. Yeah, yeah. Every every fight is progressing, getting bigger and bigger. I think they're just waiting for that big homecoming, really, and the right fight. And as we just said, I think that would be the the, the fight. You know, we're, we're not unless. <laughs> well, you think that's amazing? Every every nearly every major city now in the UK has got a, a venue that holds over 10,000 people, except for Cardiff. And that's a killer for us. You know. How how many do you get in Liverpool? Um, I think it's just over 10. I think it's about 10,000 seater, something like that. And you're hoping to do that? I'd be surprised if we didn't. I mean, it's, uh, you know, as uh, Nathan said, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's the fight that everybody talks about. I mean, the, it does sell itself. I mean, that press conference, the last press conference uh, sold it. I mean, that's one thing we were going to make sure today. That they, they wouldn't have been sitting like this. It would have been either end of the table. There's me... Uh, I'm not sitting in a minute. I won't sit in the middle of that again. Sorry, we're going to announce that um, in the next few days because we've got we 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 got another two press conferences this week. <coughs> Excuse me, with other shows that we're putting together. Brilliant. Bring it on. I like Tony Bellew a lot. I think he's a fantastic character, and uh, I think he's done a lot for the fight. To be honest. And um, no, we're not taking anything. Well, we're nothing for granted. We, you know, we're going to that fight as, as the challenger. I'm going to make sure that Nathan comes out with that belt still holding it. And we won the Hopkins fight. That's my dream to share the ring with Bernard Hopkins. And uh, cause he, he's always been my favourite fighter. And I, I just can't believe what's happening. Since I've taken over three years ago, it's just snowballed. You know, and he's he's progressing all the time. He's he's progressed since the Kamiensky fight. He's come on a, a, bit, a, bit, a bit again, a lot stronger, a lot fitter, a bit more ring knowledge. And I think he's capable of stopping Tony Bella. And I think then he'll, um, he'll beat Bernard Hopkins as well. We're great alone. <clears throat> the fight won't be done at Hopkins' fight, at pace. It'll be done at Cleverley's pace, and not Bernard Hopkins' pace. And there's, uh, and we've got, we're announcing another world title fight this week. Another big, big, big fight this week. Um, not sure yet, but it's, it's a cracking fight. Cracking fight. Come on, Frank, tell us. <laughs> Keep you in suspense. <laughs> yeah. Are there any more questions? Are we all done? Mr. Bellow disappeared for good. I don't know yeah, what's no, happened. No connection is just cutting out. Um, he'll, be, he'll be here by two o'clock. I just found out. So if it's you worth waiting for, it? Do Nathan, you want to wait for 45 minutes? It's worth waiting for, I think. Yeah. Let's do that. If you call with that, that's good. Yeah, yeah, you know. Okay, we'll do the Can picture. Can we get some, <laughs> get some pictures? Well, you won't know what the because pictures was then, won't they? Frank, you see the Thierry Henry in the corridor. He's trying to sign him as well. Oh, he's just, he's just signing back up, Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> he's playing centre half. <laughs> so I wish. I wish. <laughs> what? I feel. I feel. London, London, London.